Welcome to the U.S. Composting Council's Compost Policy Pulse, our monthly public policy update for July 2024. And these updates are brought to you by the Lobbying and Public Policy Program of USCC. We could never succeed in the po public policy front without the work of our state chapters, and that's what I'm going to report on today. For one thing, the Maryland DC Composting Council chapter successfully lobbied regulators to save Maryland composters from a disastrous regulation that they were proposing. This month, the state of Colorado's compostable packaging labeling law went into effect on July 1st. Colorado joins California, Washington State, Minnesota, and Maryland in states with specific direct directives about how to label food-related compostable packaging so that it can be better identified for consumers. The USCC's Colorado Affiliate Chapter, COCC, celebrated the enactment of the Labeling Act with Senator Lisa Cutter, who sponsored the successful bill as a way to crack down on greenwashing in Colorado and improve labeling for Colorado citizens. The law requires compostable packaging to meet ASTM D6400 and ASTM D6868 standards, it must be immediately distinguishable as certified compostable just on a quick look. The product must display a certified certification logo that indicates it is certified compostable, the word compostable where possible, green symbols, tinting, colors, marks, or design patterns, and no recycling symbol or chasing arrow resin identification code. Take a look at the link here if you want to learn more. In 2022, a task force made up of USCC, BPI, composters, packaging companies, and CMA representatives agreed on elements that we believe should be placed in bills and produced a template state labeling bill. If you want to work with a legislator in your state on a bill like Colorado's, then find these templates and information at compostingcouncil.org backslash truth dash in dash labeling. Back to that Maryland story, the Maryland DC Composting Council and other industry members were successful this month in persuading regulators to withdraw an emergency regulation that would have devastated Maryland's compost industry, which is growing due to a diversion law put in place in 2021. The Maryland Department of Agriculture had inadvertently included composting in proposed rules to regulate DAF food residuals, DAF stands for Dissolved Air Flotation Sludge, which results from wastewater treatment of food residual solids and is often spread on farms. These rules would have required compost to reach impossible limits for metals and other contaminants. The MDDC and other members continue working to have other elements of the regulations clarified and take a more active role on the state's committee overseeing land spreading on farms. Over in Ohio, the Ohio chapter is working hard to expand the reach of NRCS 336, which has been adopted by their state and most states in the country to provide funding for carbon sequestration to farmers who use compost. OHOC is working with the state NRCS and also publishing an Ohio compost producers directory for farmers looking for compost. If you want to learn more about NRCS 336, see our Code 336 resources page at this link. It's hot everywhere right now. OSHA is framing up regulations requiring employers of 10 or more employees to have a heat plan for your employees and take certain actions to protect them. We've talked to members and most are already doing what the regulations will require. To see what is in the draft, go to our current issues page at www.compostingcouncil.org slash current dash issues. Keep cool and stay safe.